Hey everybody, today I'm going to be talking about how to identify the first US and the first UK edition of Stephen King's 1980 novel, Firestarter. While it wasn't the first edition released anywhere in the world, which was an honor reserved for the Fantasia Press signed limited editions, which I'll talk more about later, the US first edition of Firestarter was released in 1980 by Viking, name you can see on the spine, it was Stephen King's second release for Viking, the first being The Dead Zone, from 1979. The print run for Firestarter was 100,000 copies, um, which compared, say, for context, uh, the print run for the Tommyknockers was a million copies um, in the late 80s. So Firestarter is not rare, but as far as the uh, trade hardcover editions go, it is on the rarer side. And this is a book now that is over 40 years old, so it can be challenging to find one in nice shape. I see jackets with a lot of wear and tear, yellowing, um, so it can be difficult to find one in good shape. So some points to look for on a first edition. If you pop the jacket off, you should see black boards gold SK imprinted, and orange cloth on the spine. The dust jacket inner flap will show a price of $13.95. The back flap will show the Viking Press and the address, 625 Madison Avenue, New York, New York, 10022. Inside the book, ah, book has been used so little that it actually crackles when you open it. I try to be careful about that. The copyright page also shows the address of the Viking Press, 625 Madison Avenue, as well as the language first published in 1980 by the Viking Press. This edition also mentions the limited first edition of the book published by the Fantasia Press which was part of the contract that Fantasia signed, they got Viking to agree to uh, advertise their edition in every Viking edition of the book, which is a pretty good deal. Uh, later printings of the first edition will have a number line. The first printing, first edition, first printing has no number line. So those are the things to look for to identify a US first edition. I did want to take a minute to uh, give a shout out to the case maker who is an artisan and makes custom slip cases uh, for books, dozens, hundreds of different titles from different authors, but especially specializes in Stephen King. I think the box is actually made of wood and it is lined with um, soft felt covered with a paper covering that copies the image uh, from the dust jacket cover. Very, very nice. Um, and while it's a little on the costly side, I managed to find the book at a local bookstore for $10, which was a hell of a deal. So I felt um, better about spending a little on a slip cover or on a slip case to keep it um, looking nice and fresh. I'll put the uh, web address of the case maker in the description for this video. The UK first edition was published in 1980 by McDonald. There's the back cover and the spine and the front cover really 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 like the image of the eyeball with the fire coming out i think that's pretty powerful um it's sort of a toss-up for me which one i like more between the us and the uk i would say that it's equal honestly in my book so on the uk first edition look for a price of 650 pounds net in UK only, printed on the jacket. This is another book that it's not super hard to see it come up, but when you find it, often the jacket will be blank 
or it will be price clipped, or it will have a sticker affixed um, denoting some other uh, price, some other currency for another country. It took me ages and ages and literally a worldwide search before I found a copy with a printed jacket. And it's not, not in perfect condition, but boy, I was sure glad to get that printed price. On the copyright page, you will see the language first, published in Great Britain in 1980 by MacDonald, London and Sydney. Also, limited first edition of this book has been published by Fantasia Press. Since Fantasia Press was a United States press, I don't know how many people in the UK were able to have access to that edition, but nevertheless, it is still advertised in this book. Like a lot of 1980s era Stephen King UK editions, the paper that was used for this was not the best not necessarily acid free and um, it is uh, tanning is a real issue with these books. I have had a few copies of Firestarter in my possession on my hunt for one with the printed price on the jacket and they all had this tanning on the pages. I wouldn't read this copy. I would actually be afraid that the pages may tear because they seem to be a little on the fragile side and a little brittle. But anyway, if you pop the jacket off, the UK edition, let me see if I can actually get that done. Underneath, you have black boards all around. I'm not 100% sure if this is cloth, treated cloth, or if it's actually paper, but otherwise, it doesn't matter. It looks fine. Um, the spine is printed in a nice, bright gold. And there you have it, the UK first edition. And in 1980, um, the Fantasia Press released a signed and limited uh, special edition, the one that has been um, mentioned in the US and UK first trade editions. And it was published in an edition of 725 copies um, in the base edition signed by Stephen King, which retailed for the princely sum of $35 and um, today is worth uh, in the thousands easily. I do not have a copy. I was fortunate to actually um, be able to purchase a new unused jacket from Alex Berman, the founder of Fantasia Press, recently. Um, so I have this, I've got it set aside. At some point, uh, when I have funds and when I have wall space, I do intend to get it framed because, man, it is grisly. Look at those burned up bodies, that image, super powerful, pretty iconic in the rare uh, Stephen King world. So it's not the prettiest to look at, but it is pretty freaking cool, and I would love to have it um, up on the wall, along with all my other artwork depicting uh, burned corpses. <laughs> so anyway, there was a 725 copy um, signed edition, and then a special lettered edition of 26 copies that um, was wrapped in silver, material and is often called the asbestos uh, fire starter and that is one of the ultimate Stephen King grails of all time and easily fetches twenty five thirty thousand dollars so if you got thirty thousand dollars you could either buy a pretty nice new car or an asbestos fire starter if you can find one if you can find someone who's willing to part with theirs um, pretty pretty wild stuff but anyway this is the dust jacket image from the Fantasia Press edition um, I understand that PS Publishing in the UK does plan to do a um, signed or a limited edition release of Firestarter in the next few years in their iconic um, art packed style which is sort of hit or miss um, some people like it some people 
I don't like it very much, but I'm looking forward to it to see what they can do. This has been the only limited edition so far, an EUS edition, um, and the PS Publishing one will be the first UK limited edition. So we shall see. I will also put their web address in the um, description for the video as well. So there you have it, the US First Trade Edition, the UK First Trade Edition, and at least the dust jacket from the 1980 signed limited worldwide first edition of Stephen King's 1980 classic novel Firestarter. I hope that this has been helpful and I hope you have a great day. I will talk to you next time. Bye.